something went wrong. Right, reflective log. Yeah. And you were saying what? I can't remember now. Um, I think I said that I was better on the slower clutch control. I just wanted to make sure I was looking around more and remember. Oh, that's right. Yes. Remember to check my blind spot and stuff. So looking around more. Um, like being aware of what's going on. Okay. What? All right. So what sort of roads do you want to be practicing that on? Any particular types? Um, I don't think so. I think it's just like like when we go into Exeter, just like watching for the brake lights in front of us. Oh, I see. Right, so like sort of anticipating yeah. what other drivers are going to do. For, for what reason? So that I can react and respond to what they're doing. Right. So do you, are you saying that it's try and so you can sort of react a bit sooner? Yeah. What would be the benefit of doing that? Um, so I don't have to like quickly break and stuff, I can... And what could the possible consequence be of that? Um, the car behind me would also have to quickly break and they might fly into the back of me if they're going fast. Right, yeah, okay, so we can sort of certainly uh, see how you get on with that. In, in terms of that aspect of what we do today, what role am I going to be taking in all of that? Um, hopefully not too much so I can try and like look at things myself and not have to like not rely on you telling me things. Right, okay, so you're going to try and do it all and, uh, or <laughs> and if, you th if you think that it might be useful me just pointing something out, yeah. just do it, or I just say, yeah, great, Tess, well done, <laughs> nice, <laughs> or I might even ask you, why did you do that? Yeah. No. What was the reason you started slowing down there or whatever? Yeah, okay. So, in the context of all of that, because we can do that as part of any yeah. sort of driving, is there anything specifically you'd like to look at today? Um, I'm not not really sure. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> what did we do last time? Roundabouts. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Roundabouts in Marsh Barton? Yeah. Um, anything particular that you feel you benefited from when you did them? Because roundabouts is such a huge topic. Um, so like many different aspects to it. Making sure that I'm like in the right lane approaching and stuff. I got quite lucky because we hit them all really quietly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. So in, in Marsh Barton itself, how many multi-lane roundabouts were there? Oh, um, there weren't too too many multi-lane ones, there were lots of like little ones. Yeah. Yeah. So would it be worth moving this on to looking at multi-lane roundabouts as well in terms of lane selection? Yeah. Um, and we could also incorporate into that um, looking at the Ring of Satan. <laughs> yeah. And turning right. Yeah. Yeah, because that really is where lane choice comes in. If we get time... We could even possibly go down to the Sandy Gate roundabout, and because it's important that you get your lane choice right there. But yeah. if we can't do that today, we could do it another time. Yeah. All right. So there's sort of things that we can build on from where you're at at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's turn the phone off now, so I don't need it anymore before we switch on. Um, so, how are we with Patterson's Cross? Um better about it yeah <laughs> not not as bad right so i just need to make sure i'm in the right gear approaching okay which will be first and at what point are you going to do that either when i'm going up the hill or like right just at the bottom if i'm going yeah. slow enough right. fair enough okay and you're happy to deal with all of that yourself yeah i'm happy to yeah, I, I, you know what I need to do, I just yeah. need to remember. Oh, okay, so th the plan is for that anyway, that you're going to do it, and we're just going to sit here and admire it. 
but if necessary. Yeah, I think I just need to remember when I need to go into second so I can go into first because else I'm in third. Or can I like try and block change or would you go second? What do you think? Well, what what would what would you feel is what you'd want to do? Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe if like I'm behind people, obviously, and there's people around, and I'm going slower, I can go into second. But so are you talking about using second gear to get out of the junction? No, I'm just like I because I'm down the road. I'm normally in like third or right. and then I just I think I need to know when to change into second and then go into first, or if I just go straight from third to first. So do, do you feel that going straight from third to first is something that you might be able to do? Um, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, are I you, just don't I, know when I would. Right, are you, are you thinking of it in terms of am I capable of doing it, or are you thinking of it in terms of is it something that I'm allowed to do? Yeah, or just whether it's the best thing to do. Um, how much work do you like doing? Um, I'd say <laughs> now don't lo don't fib on this one because yeah. I'll know I know what the answer should like be. The, the least. Yeah, of course we do. All of yeah. us do. Yeah. So would you would it would you prefer to do one gear change as opposed to two? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, w uh, w what would how do you judge when it's right to go into first gear? Um, when you're going slow enough. Now, what, what we don't want to do is get into the habit of thinking that every time we change gear, we can do it from third to first. Yeah. You're, what you've just been talking about is you know, the, the possibility of following traffic and slowing down. Yeah. Find the most appropriate gear. You you know what's what to do. I've no doubt about that. It's just I think uh, uh, getting this confidence in doing it, and the more you do it, and the more you do it right, yeah. the more confident you'll be. Yeah, this works. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. I've already want, not want, um, warned Dan that uh, you are likely to be muttering as you drive out of here as we've already met one vehicle that nearly came straight for us just at the end here I'm just glad Michael hasn't been at home any of the days so I've got the gas pedal's working yeah. how was that? good yeah lovely what I should have done is put the post-it note on here that Holly left on Monday after the last lesson that was in here, which was stay calm. Stay calm. There was a vehicle there. Oh, looking forward to a moan as we came around here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clear today. <laughs> driven in rain before? Yeah, last week because it took me about 20 minutes to work out how to use the windscreen wiper. Okay, well let's get across the level crossing first. I go to work with Chris. Charlie learned with me. That's her son. Yeah. We, um, we, um, I went and cleaned the holiday homes with her down in oh. um, Talenton. Not the moment, obviously. Can we get now? I think we'll just squeeze. What gear are you going to use now? So, 
Shall we get the wind, windscreen sorted? Just leave that for the moment, concentrate on the steering, because this is not really the easiest place to work. Uh, he's done helped you by slowing down, it's nice. So leave the windscreen until we've got a nice straight bit of road. Lincoln Close. Yeah. If we'd had a little bit of steering on as we got there, would that have made any difference? Um, yeah. It would have made it easier to turn and I would have stayed on my side of the road. Yeah. Yes, I can tell them. So, and what else might have been quite useful to do? What's the routine for turning left or right? Yeah, Are you sure you did both of those? We did one of them in the end. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't think I, I could have been kind of more thorough with mirror checks. Yeah, I, that's one way of putting it. I already knew that white car was behind me. I didn't oh, right, okay. So you right. Fair enough. Well, you must have looked in the mirror at some point. Yeah.
two. Yeah, two. Find somewhere like a marker in there. Only a fool breaks the two second rule. Yeah. And what about the slip road here? Would you safely be able to move out if you had to? Yeah. I'm sure. That's what we didn't have to, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, well done. 
Because that noise is sort of the wipers saying there's probably not enough water to warrant going that often. Right. Did he have anybody with him? Yeah. Maybe some. Oh, there's Batman. I'm not quite sure Batmobile had three wheels like that, the original one. <laughs> sign yeah. telling you what it's a bus lane, isn't when it? is it a bus lane just, come on think just squeeze the brake a bit. when's it a bus lane 8 till 9 15 a.m now if that car wasn't parked there yeah i'd have you in the bus lane all the way down here okay. probably nobody else would be in it can we go in the bus lane yeah yeah it's not 8 to 9 15 between 8 and 9 15 monday to friday we shouldn't be in there at all it's a shame those cars are. I love coming down the bus lane. Because nobody else does. They all see, oh, it's a bus lane, can't go in it. Nobody bothers to look at the times on it. And when we do get to the traffic lights down here, we'll turn right. Right. Thank you. 
nice long track at night. No, no, not the time. Well, no, um, not worry about I that. I didn't want to do it when we were in the queue because there was another right turning. Gear now to move off. Yeah. Sorry, that's my fault. Probably being a bit too late with the anticipation of all the things. <laughs> Down Tiger. Now go at the traffic lights. Going to turn left. Ideally, which ought to come first? The mirrors, mirrors or the signal? signal? You did them all, but you know, the mirrors yeah. were just after the signal. Yeah. Mirrors, signal, maneuver. What? what might be the advantage of doing the mirrors first before the signal? Um, you know what's going on around you. Okay. What if there was a cyclist just sort of here? Might it be worth delaying the signal for a moment? Until the cyclist is there? Yeah. Because what might the cyclist think? This this one's a lovely speed bump. Oh, I was trying to avoid going off with me crashing every time I go over a speed bump. Well, that, that one, I... I that one used to be just a solid rubber strip across the road until they put some tarmac over it. It, it used to be evil. There's a really nasty one near Extra Arena where they've redone it all. Oh right. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's been up there for years. Yeah, well, not, not since the road yeah, was closed for ages. Yeah, they've redone it and, um, oh, it's nasty. Oh, isn't it? It's going to follow the road ahead. And because we yeah. go there a lot, um, yeah. Mum always forgets that there's a new one. <laughs> This is the sort of speed where you could easily have a cyclist come up yeah. your inside. I'm going to go all the way to the end of this road. Beyond the roundabout? Um, stops. Lollipop man. That's the one I was going for. <laughs> Good. <laughs> See, so if we were coming past Fenneton Primary now, this crossing patrol man there saw me coming. He invents people <laughs> for me to stop me. There is a child here. <laughs> I did see 
a child surprise and he's going to walk out oh. one car further down than the lollipop man though. Good. That one was a, that was a, that was a smart decision from him. <laughs> oh yes, well the one at Trenton, we talk about the uh, people who park just a little way down and just shove their children across the road. <laughs> now, rather, ra rather than go take them down to, to him to cross, When we get to the end of the road, we're going to turn left. Now, if you sort of glance at the houses on the left, you can see there's quite a gap coming yeah. between the houses. So, what do you think the reason for that is? A road. Definitely see him in my mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to indicate or no? What do you think? Not what no. you, the fact you've asked the question, I assume there's a doubt in your mind. Yeah. Does it matter if you indicate? No. But it's a only one lane, so I didn't yeah. know whether. Does it confirm where you're going? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, absolutely nothing wrong with it, but you're right, it's it's not essential. There are some places where I think, even though it's a dedicated lane, I think it is a good idea to always signal. Yeah. See if there was a crossing on this side of the road, I think I'd want to put one on, just yeah. in case there's some dozy individual over there. Just gives them a little bit more of a hint that actually we are going to be turning. Everyone else seems to be getting a lot longer than we got here. <laughs> well, this you know, Topsham Road is a much busier road yeah. than this one. <laughs> Not exactly a scooter though, is it? <laughs> By the sound of it. He makes more noise than I do when I put the accelerator down and... That's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, now that we do about the lights. <laughs> your prediction come true? Bye. Oh, he's a learner as well. Well. He just had to be in front of you. He doesn't seem to be shooting off no. anywhere. So at least he's not racing way above the speed limit.
road will turn right. vehicle, not as so you had a queue. <laughs> Windscreen wipers were going, and then I was like, I don't know where I am, not close enough. <laughs> I'm getting to them. Can you see the little mirror? Yeah, miles away. We're okay. really in the middle of the road, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> what can we do to get closer? Um, and the reverse. Go up to that one. Could we have come in a little bit yeah. more gently and just aimed for that one there? Yeah. yeah. No. Didn't have to come straight in here. Safe to go? Have you looked everywhere? That'd be awesome to that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Well done. Right, so in general, how do you feel everything is going in terms of the goals you set yourself with the awareness and anticipating things? Until then, it's going quite well. Until when? <laughs> when I didn't check any of my mirrors. When oh we right, up. okay. <laughs> <laughs> then, it could, then it could have been a bit better. Um, a couple times I've like indicated before I've checked my mirrors or only really quickly checked my mirrors just before I've turned. Okay, okay um, you just give me a politician's answer because you've probably answered a different question. <laughs> Your awareness of things that could be going on ahead. Um, I think it's better, like, I'm looking further ahead yeah. and, like, anticipating, like, when I see, well, yeah. when you see, like, the brake lights ahead, obviously. Yeah. You've got to stop and the side road and stuff. And just, being and just me and managing me something like a petrol station. Yeah. You know, and people obviously coming out but somebody also might want to come in yeah. queue the traffic where do you stop uh, and also sometimes where, where where's the best place to stop even if you could just about get past